Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Heard about the new Raspberry Pi Pico? Wondering how to program it using MicroPython? Well, let's get into it. Hi, and welcome to RoboCrace. My name is Shiv, and this video is a first in a series where I will be teaching you how to program the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller using MicroPython. So let's get started. First, we visit the Pico Getting Started page on the Raspberry Pi website. I'll give a link to this in the description below. Scroll down to find the Getting Started with MicroPython section. Under that, right over here, you will see the Download UF2 File button. Click this to download the file to your machine. I already have it downloaded over here. Next, we need to upload it to our Pico. In order to upload files to the Pico, we connect it by pressing the boot cell button and then plugging in the USB cable. You can then leave the boot cell button. As you can see, the RPi RP2 mass storage device is now shown in the Explorer. Drag and drop this file onto the RPi. It will copy and then reboot the Pico. As you can see, it has now disappeared. Now go to the device manager to ensure that the Pico has reattached as a serial port, as a virtual serial port. For me, it's COM25 over here. Next, we download the Thony IDE. For this, visit thony.org and over here, download it for whatever platform you are using. I'm using Windows, so I'll download it for Windows. I already have it installed, but once you install it, click on it and you should be greeted by a window like this. The first thing we need to do is set the interpreter. Click on Run, select Interpreter, and under the drop-down, you will see an option for Raspberry Pi Pico, MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. Select it, and under Port, you should see your COM port. Once you select both of these, press OK, and just press the Stop button in case you get an error like this. We now have our MicroPython shell. This is a basic interactive shell where you can write any Python command and it will execute it. For instance, let me try printing hello world. And there you have it. Let us now try executing a slightly more complex script. Let us try to control the onboard LED. There is an onboard LED over here. I'll just zoom in right there and that is connected to pin number 25. Let us try blinking that LED. So to get started, we'll do this in the shell. We first import pin from the machine, machine uh, module. From machine import pin, we now declare our LED pin. So I can just say LED pin is equal to pin, the number of the pin and the pin mode. For us, it is going to be an output pin since we intend to write voltages to it. Once declared, I can just call the LED toggle function and this will just toggle the state of the LED. As you can see, the LED is now on. I can execute the same command again and again to toggle the state of the LED. And there we have a simple blink program. Let us try doing the same through a script now. In the editor window, begin by importing pin. We will then declare the LED pin GPIO. The pin number will be same as before, 25 and the pin mode is going to be output. I will now make an infinite while loop so that we can have the LED blinking continuously and I will toggle the LED pin GPIO by using the toggle function just as before. 
in order to control the rate of blink i will also import the time module and call time dot sleep which will give us a delay in seconds let us set the delay to half a second this this while loop will toggle the gpio every half second go ahead and press the run button and you will be prompted to save the file select the save location as the raspberry pi pico and save it as main.py i'll come to this later so as to why we are saving it as main.py but for now just save it as main.py and you can see our led is now blinking we can go ahead and try playing around with the delay a little bit so i'll change it to 0.25 and it should blink four times in one second press the run button and as you can see the led is blinking faster we can achieve the same by using timers in micropython timers allow us to control these gpios without using a while a while loop so i'll begin by declaring a timer over here and we first need to import timer from the machine module i will then initialize the timer by calling the init function and we have to pass it three parameters the first one is the frequency of the timer and this is given in hertz 1 hertz means once per second the next parameter is the mode we need it to be periodic in nature therefore we will set the mode to periodic finally the callback function is the function that the timer will call every time that the duration has elapsed i have set the callback to this blink function but we have not yet declared this function i will go ahead and declare the blink function and all timer callback functions have to take the parameter timer as i have declared over here inside the function we will only be toggling the led state so led pin dot toggle this will toggle the state of the gpio i can save this and run this and as you can see the state of the led is changing once every second i can go ahead and update the frequency to 2 which will make it blink at 2 hertz or once every 500 milliseconds there you can see it's updated now we can play around with these values to observe the effect the led is now blinking at 10 hertz the reason i saved this file as main.py is in case i disconnect the pico and i want it to continue executing the program that i have loaded onto it i can just connect the power back and you will see the same program continues executing in order to achieve this you can save your script as main.py and every time the pico starts it will start executing your script right at boot up finally to conclude this video let us now try controlling another gpio in addition to the onboard led in order to do that i will just declare another led pin over here let's call it led pin 2 and let us use pin number 15 only because it's conveniently located and i'll show you in a bit so we declare our pin as an output and let us control this led using the while loop method so we'll have each led blinking with a different method the onboard led with the timer and the gpio led with the while to fun with the fire while to loop so here i will just write led pin 2 dot toggle to toggle the state of the gpio and time dot sleep let's do 0.5 so that both the leds are blinking at different rates this one is at 2 hertz and this one is at 10 hertz before we run the program let us make our circuit connections now pin number 15 
on the Pico is located right at the end over here. This last pin that you see, that is pin number 15. And the one over here, third from the right, that happens to be a ground. Pretty conveniently located I would say. So first I will connect a 220 ohm current limiting resistor so that we don't drive too much current through our LED and burn it out. So I'll connect it to ground and an empty pin on the breadboard like so. So you can see the third pin from the right is ground through the resistor to an empty pin on the breadboard. I will then take my LED and connect the longer end to pin number 15 and the shorter to ground. Once the circuit is connected, it should look something like this. Ground through the resistor, ground of the LED and the positive of the LED connected to pin number 25. Go ahead and press the run button. And as you can see, both the LEDs are blinking using two different methods at two different rates. We can of course go ahead and blink both the LEDs using timers. Let me create another timer over here. I'll call it timer2. I'll declare another function called def blink2. We'll take the timer parameter and it will toggle LED pin number 2. I will then init the timer. Let's give it a frequency of 5. Mode will be the same as before. Timer dot periodic. So I can, yeah. And the callback for this function, for this timer, will be blink2. Once that is declared, I can go ahead and just press the run button. And as you can see, using two timers, we are blinking both the LEDs at different rates. So you can do this for any number of GPIOs available on the board. That's all for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe because in the next video, I'll teach you how to use the push button to get digital inputs into the Pico. Share your thoughts with us in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.